Hello everyone, my name is Trent Lack, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you, and uh, consider liking this video if you're new or returning. Um, I've decided to up my production value a little bit, I mean I have the tools, so why not? Um, so I have my two newer LED lights, one below me, I don't know if you can see it, it's lighting the back of my head, and then I have the one in front of me, new cinema lenses on my Zcam E2 M4. I've got the Audio Technica, I forget what the mic's name is now, but it's linked in the description if you want to click on it and purchase it using my affiliate link. I don't get any commission for it, or sorry, I do. Um, it just doesn't cost you anything, so I appreciate it. Um, on today's video, we're going to be doing a breakdown of the music video I recently shot for my studio partner and good friend Zach Idestrom, otherwise known as Strom. Um, so without further ado, um, I'm going to show you a little bit of the preemptive stuff before we actually shot the music video. Then I'm going to give a breakdown with me being a talking head once again. So let's get into the stuff before we actually shot the music video. Good afternoon, lads and ladies. I'm in the car with Zach. He's driving. Um, we're going to do a behind the scenes segment for the creation of his music video. So right now we're on the way to go pick up I would call it a piano. What do you call it? Uh, yeah, a piano. A piano. There's a certain name for it though. What is it? Upright piano. An upright piano. So that's what we're going to go do right now. And I'm going to show you guys the whole process. Stay tuned. Who is that song by? Future? Or he says mask off? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, Future didn't know that COVID-19 was going to happen. <laughs> he should make a remix called Mask On. No. So you're gonna use it for a couple hours, you said? Uh, yeah, I'm literally just moving a piano, and then I'll bring it back. 88 kilometers per hour. And honestly, that sound? Yeah, it's a little, yeah. Yeah, that's a little yeah, sketchy. Kind of, kind of unsure. So the trailer only goes 88 kilometers an hour, and then at that point it self-destructs. <laughs> Did they make you wear construction masks like that? Uh, no, I just got this one special because it looked pretty. <laughs> <laughs> How many do you want on? Two would be fine, but if you want three. I, I, I don't think... Honestly, one would hold it in. <laughs> I just got a piano for free for a music video, so it's pretty sick. And that's not it? You and a clarinet. How much are your clarinets worth? Uh, I don't know. This one, it's a school one, probably like a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah, not bad, but the piano. Okay, so the piano is in the forest for now. We're keeping it there until we're ready to shoot next week. The boys. Yeah, let's the hope boys. no one steals it. Zach's watching YouTube when he should be painting. Shut up. I'm just kidding. I gave him permission. And according to him, this piano is oak color, so we're gonna turn it into uh, <laughs> some other color. The color being white. Almost finished with uh, covering this with paper, so we don't get. What is this section called? What is? What are these? Uh, those are the hammers. But the hammers. And then this is a soundboard. Or the soundboard. Yeah, just the inside of the piano. The inside of the piano. We yeah, don't want white. The hammers, boys. Gonna get hammered, boys. <laughs> Tip when you're using paint. Shake the shit out of it. <laughs> 
he. So we're scoping out locations. One of them being uh, McGuire's grandfather's property. And uh, he has a stage at the back of his house. So we're seeing if that's a possibility for where the music video could be shot. Zach's still in his work attire. Yeah, I love it. High vis all the way, baby. I'll wear this in the video, you know what? No thanks. For <laughs> Just make everyone wear high vis. It'll certainly be visible, and that's about <laughs> the only thing you'll be. <laughs> if we put the piano there, there, and the cajon there, and Megan stands right here, where are you going to get a shot from right here? You know I mean, what I mean? Move some stuff. Like, if we could move it pretty much... If you had it open from here... Like, what would you say we do for the light? Like, the same thing I was saying before? Or should we, like, go all out? Put them up at the top? Hey, look who it is. Hey. We'll do that. But otherwise, I would say let's do this. Because then we can shoot it on Sunday night. Okay, so it's dependent on weather and whether we get the beach. But... We can shoot in the rain here because there's a roof. So yeah, if we get the beach and the weather's good, we shoot on the beach. But if we don't, then we shoot here. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed those clips. Um, that's just a little bit of context. Um, we ended up shooting this video at my cousin's family's property, so thank you for that. He also helped shoot a whole bunch of this video. His name is McGuire Bryce, if you want to follow his YouTube channel. And I think his Instagram is McGuire underscore Bryce. Um, we're going to be reviewing this video now, and uh, yeah, let's let's dive into it. So the font that you see is called Modern Line. It's free for commercial use and individual use, of course. You can find it on dafonts.com. View Unplugged. Yeah, so today I had someone comment that they liked the music video, they liked the song, um, they just thought it was a little bit grainy, and I can agree with that. Now, the reason for the grain is I was shooting this video on an EOS lens um, with a non-smart adapter that went on to my Micro Four Thirds camera. The aperture is typically controlled in body. It was stuck at something around f11, which is not useful for dark scenes, which it was, it was lit with studio lights. So yeah, that was my mistake, but also lack of equipment, just because I'm an amateur and slowly getting a larger repertoire. Um, also, I probably had the frame rate a little bit too high for um, my frames per second that I was using, so some of the images might look a little bit uh, too fast, not natural. But uh, overall, the video turned out well. I'm just, uh, I'm nitpicking right now. Fifth time just you this can see month, the we've started there's again. A little grainy. I'm starting to think that you and I will never end. I think I don't want you, but then again, I just want someone to love. And you say that you do, but your actions don't prove Okay, so fun fact, all the artists were actually playing the instruments in the video and they all were the original recording artists as well, which is kind of cool. The cables that you see go to absolutely nowhere, but we wanted it to have a live feel to it. Um, yeah, I, I think it did turn out pretty good. Now. I'm going to display it a little bit more and then I'll explain to you how I chopped together these shots. But I hate that I miss you and I hate it, I hate it too. I miss you and I hate it, I hate it. One of my favorite shots right here.
that's another shot that I might have messed up a little bit on. I had my camera at 120 frames per second instead of 24, unfortunately. Missing you, missing you, missing you. Yeah, and that's uh, that's pretty much the video. So I'm gonna come back to say, right here, that's a nice frame, looks well exposed, and I'm gonna explain to you guys how exactly this video was shot. Now, the first three times, approximately, that we went through the whole song, we went from artist to artist, kind of just free flowing, see where it kind of took us. Um, tried to focus on the people that were actually playing or singing in that moment. Then the next, I believe, there's one, two, three, four, five times. We did the song, we focused on one artist, and we went through the entire song only focusing on them. Each performance was actually live. And then we spliced it all together at the end, chose the best ones. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up, or uh, I can take a thumbs down if you really disliked it. Um, continue to watch my videos, consider subscribing if you're new, and uh, I hope you guys liked my upped production quality let me know if you noticed a difference cheers guys and uh stay creative <laughs>